back to my channel and I know it's been a minute, um, but I thought this would be a very fun video idea. I actually got the idea from watching um, Joey at Beauty Inside of Boxes video similar to this um, where he reacted to Barbie commercials. Um, so I figured, you know, I collect a lot of Pocahontas dolls and there were Pocahontas doll commercials back in the 90s when, when uh, Mattel was killing it. So I thought we would go ahead and um, look at some of these. And I'm sorry if y'all hear my dogs, they're eating their food or they're walking around. Just ignore it. That's just part of living here. So um, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so the first commercial we're looking at here is a Color Splash Pocahontas, um, which is an awesome doll, uh, very cool doll line that featured um, Pocahontas, uh, John Smith, and Nakoma. Um, and there was a planned Kokoum, um, but for whatever reason, they never made him. Um, but yeah, so what happened was they would uh, put the dolls in warm water and there would be color change features on the doll. So let's look at the doll uh, commercial and I'll react to it. I really love that uh, claymation look to it. I think these are beautiful dolls. And I, I was always looking for places to play with toys that look like that, where, um, yeah, I can never make my dolls swim around like that. Okay, but what I was saying was I was always looking for places to play with my dolls like that um, because, you know, Pocahontas lives in the forest and the forest is a heavy feature of the film. So why would you want, why would you not want to play with your dolls in the forest to make it more movie accurate? Um, you know, I live in Texas and when I was a kid, I lived in Texas. So there aren't that many forests around. Um, I mean, there are places with trees, obviously, and if I could use those, I would, but most of the time it was just me pretending, which is what you do as a kid, you know, you um, you play pretend. <laughs> um, the, the commercial overall, I think is really cool. I love the stop motion technique uh, techniques they used at the beginning with the Pocahontas doll. Um, it, they were able to capture her movements very accurately, which is super cool. Um, yeah, I mean, the girls look like they were having fun. And yeah, there's nothing else to say much about it. Um, the song is catchy. Um, not as catchy as the next doll we're gonna look at. So let's get to the next one. Okay, so the next commercial we're going to look at is um, the River Rowing Pocahontas doll. Um, give me a second, there's an ad playing here, so. But yeah, River Rowing Pocahontas is one of my favorite Pocahontas dolls out there. Um, I think she's incredibly unique. Uh, if you didn't know, River Rowing Pocahontas came with a Pocahontas doll on Miko and um, a canoe uh, that was motorized. And one of her arms, or maybe both, no, just one of her arms uh, had like a certain, uh, it wasn't tied down or it wasn't stiff. So whenever the motor would run, it would actually have her paddling, which I think was a really cool and unique um, design for Pocahontas doll. And I'm surprised Disney Store has not made a um, doll set yet with, you know, uh, a canoe and whatnot, because that's such a prevalent thing in the movie um, and very classic, because, you know, Just Around the River Bend is a very classic Disney song. Um, so yeah, I'm just really surprised that they haven't done anything like that. But let's go ahead and look at the dog commercial and we'll see. <laughs> Long hair blowing. She's a gorgeous doll. I think the Mattel dolls are absolutely amazing. Follow the river and follow your heart. I love how cheesy these commercials are. But they're so spot on. Like, look, look at that landscape. Look at it. I mean, sure, there's some bamboo and whatnot that's not in the Pocahontas movie, um, and or not in Virginia. <laughs> but uh, I really appreciate the fact that they try to make it very um, atmospheric in terms of 
making you feel like you're watching something out of the film. Um, and I did like that they had a Sun Colors, Coco, uh, Coco, Sun Colors John Smith featured in this as well. Um, because, you know, it makes the whole romantic atmosphere very visceral. Um, and so, yeah, I really enjoy uh, this commercial a lot. Um, yeah, I wish they would do more with Pocahontas in the canoe because it's such a very, um, it's something that people really associate with her. I mean, a lot of the artwork has Pocahontas in the canoe. Um, and like I said earlier, just around the riverbank, it's just such a classic, iconic song. Um, and, you know, it's always really cool because, you know, Pocahontas is, you know, she has those biceps, you know, she uses them. Uh, so yeah, I really, really love this commercial. Uh, I think it's better than the color splash because there's more atmosphere to it. Um, as the uh, the color splash commercial fe really feels more like a doll play commercial as opposed to this one, because there's an actual story to it. And I mean, it's only a 30 second long commercial, but there is a story, you know what's happening. Um, and I just love that. I think that was a really cute aspect to the commercial. So let's get to the next one, which is probably my favorite one. So let's get to that one. Okay, so this next one is one of my absolute favorite Pocahontas dolls ever made. And it is Beat So Pretty Pocahontas. Um, she is 17 inches, no, 18 inches tall, uh, which is bigger than your standard um, limited edition dolls from the Disney store. Um, she's incredible. She's one of the most movie accurate dolls out there. Um, her face sculpt is phenomenal. She has this incredible long hair. Um, I don't like her body because it's based off of a Barbie that was released around the same time where it had this uh, this hip joint that made her twist like this. And that's the only articulation you had. Um, and it's, it's not very fun <laughs> because if you're trying to style it, her, um, her torso is just moving back and forth. So it's really annoying. But the doll itself is stunning. She's gorgeous. And let's just look at this doll. I really love the way that they displayed her in this commercial. So let's just get to it. I love that they used a wind machine in this to really highlight her, how flowy her hair is. And I love the charms and stuff that they, uh, that they gave the doll. And I really think that was a smart technique on how to put the charms in her hair. And I really love seeing all these different uh, uh, styling choices that they did with the doll. Um, I don't know, I just, I love Pocahontas's hair so freaking much. And it's such an iconic part of her. Um, so I'm glad that they made most of her dolls had a sense of hair play. Um, what like this next commercial we're gonna watch. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that commercial quite a bit. Um, I love that they really highlighted the wind in it um, because, you know, the wind is, again, it's a part of Pocahontas' character. Uh, it's, um, it's very spiritual to her. So I'm glad that they really highlighted that in these dolls. Um, like, like if you're if any doll is going to have hair play, it's going to be either Pocahontas or Rapunzel. I think in Ariel, like if you have long hair, you deserve to have all the cool, cool techniques to style that hair. So I'm really happy that there were a lot of choices for kids back in the day um, for cool Pocahontas doll hair play. And like I said, the I really love all the. Um, like the setting that the doll was in, it's ve felt very, um, very in tune with the look of the film. Um, and you know, those girls were having such a fun time. And I definitely, if I was them, I would having a ball. <laughs> like when I had Pocahontas dolls as a kid, like it was such a special thing for me. Um, granted, I don't own any of my original Pocahontas dolls now, um, but when I got them, they were just, it was so special um, because it brought her to life for me. And I think that's what these commercials really do. And they just don't do that. They don't do that anymore. Like they make these characters feel like toys in modern commercials. Like you, you don't feel like there's any character or any spirit to them. Um, but the Mattel commercials back in the day for all the Disney films and most of their doll line, it's not, not just for Disney, but in general, 
like they felt like they had personality, they had life to them. And I love that I can really tell that they did their homework in terms of the marketing and how they wanted to portray these dolls in these commercials. Because I feel like I'm looking at Pocahontas, the character from the film, and not just a doll. Um, I think they really nailed that. So let's go ahead and get to the last commercial, which I think is really cool. And once again, one of my favorite dolls, probably the most movie accurate Pocahontas doll. Um, but yeah, let's get to that doll. So give you one sec and we'll be back. Okay, so this next commercial we're looking at is braiding hair. That's not what it's called. Braided Beauty Pocahontas, which has a Miko hair braider and with some really fine hair charms. And so let's look at this doll. She's such a gorgeous doll. She's so beautiful. I don't think it's that easy. I've seen people try to use the technique that they are showing and it doesn't look like it's easy. Oh, it's so beautiful. She's such a gorgeous doll. Oh my God. Oh, she's so beautiful. Like, I really, really, truly believe that doll is one of the most beautiful dolls ever filmed, ever filmed, ever made. Um, she's just, she's so gorgeous. I love her to death. And once again, my dogs are breaking, so excuse me. Okay, for this next one, um, it is Sun Colors Pocahontas. Um, for whatever reason, I can't find the English version to this. It used to be on here um, on YouTube. I guess it got taken down. But there's this one version on here. Um, I don't know what uh, what language it is. It might be Swedish. I'm not sure. But it has the same video. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and react to that one. Um, because it has the same thing. So let's go ahead and look at it. That doll's, that doll's so beautiful. It's such a cool feature. I loved that um, when you put these dolls in sunlight, like patterns came up on them. I thought that was so cool. Cause you know, these dolls are gonna have a lot of outdoor play. So I thought that was a really smart, um, smart decision on Matt, at Mattel's part. So yeah, uh, I there's not much to say about that doll commercial. Um, it's pretty, I, I would say it's on par with Color Splash. Like I think it, they did a good job of really making it atmospheric of the Pocahontas film. Um, but it's not as iconic to me personally as, you know, Braided Beauty or Be So Pretty. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that commercial because um, I love the Sun Colors doll line. I think they're phenomenal. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed that commercial quite a bit. I don't know what else to say about it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of me reacting to these commercials. Um, I think, because Pocahontas dolls mean so much to me, um, I really enjoy seeing how other people viewed them. Um, and I don't know, these these commercials are just so nostalgic. I, I never personally saw them on TV when I was a kid, but I know I would have just been overjoyed if I did see them. Um, so yeah, let me know below what you guys think of these commercials. Do you think they're cheesy? Do you think they're dumb? Um, do you enjoy them as much as I do? Because I really love these commercials quite a bit. So let me know down below what you guys thought. And I will see you guys next time, hopefully for a doll review. I have a special doll coming in. Uh, and I can't wait to show her to everyone. I can't wait to get her. So I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye-bye.